Today in Algebra 1, we learned about two-sided equations. And all that that means is that in this case, there is variables on both sides. We need to remember our goal, which was to isolate the variable. The golden rule of math, which was what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. To distribute first, after you do that, to combine. And then here's the new stuff. After you've distributed it and combined, you need to collect variables on one side and numbers on the other. Okay? So you want all your stuff on one side so that you'll have a chance to add them together and solve. We're going to look at several examples. Number one, 7K equals 4K plus 15. Okay, notice there are Ks on both sides. There's nothing to distribute. There's nothing to combine, because to combine they have to be on the same side of the equal sign. So I'm going to begin to collect my variables. I want to move all of my variables from one side to the other. It's easier, if you can't decide which, to just move from right to left. So I'm going to take 4K and try to move it over. The only way to move a term over is to add or subtract that term. Since this term is a positive 4K, the opposite would be to subtract 4K from both sides. Now, 7K minus 4K makes 3K. And on the other side, all that I have left over is 15. Now I have 3K equals 15. I know that when two things are being multiplied, the way to get rid of it is to divide. So I divide both sides by 3, and k equals 5. And that's the end of that example. I know that if I plugged in 5, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 15 is 35. 7 times 5 is 35, so those two would be equal. I could always check by plugging it back in. Another example, number 2, would be if I have 5x minus 2 equals 3x plus 4. There's nothing to distribute, there's nothing to combine, so I want to begin to move things. I'm going to move the 3x over to the other side by subtracting, because it's positive. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. 5x minus 3x makes 2x, and then I bring down the minus 2 equals 4. Notice that every time I do this, I'm lining it up on each side of the equal sign. That will really help you to make sure you're getting the right information. Then I've got minus 2 right here to move that over so all the numbers are on the other side. I'm going to add 2 to both sides. And I have 2x equals 6. Finally, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And x equals 3. I need to grab a different pencil. Hold on one second. Okay, let's look at some more. We're just going to get more complicated as we go. Example number 3. 2, and then in parentheses, y plus 6 equals 3y. Okay, we want to start by distributing 2 times y is 2y, and 2 times 6 is 12. Remember, I multiply when I distribute, and that equals 3y. There's nothing to combine, so I'm going to begin to move things. This time, because there are no numbers over here on the right side, I think it'll be easier to move the 2y over. Now, if you can't remember how to do that or it's easier for you to always think of it the same way, you can always move the 3y over and then move the 12. But I'm going to move over the 2y. It's positive, so to move it, I'm going to subtract 2y from both sides. Over here I have 12, and 3y minus 2y is 1y, or y, and y equals 12. Example number 4. 3 minus... 5b plus 2b equals negative 2 minus 2 times 1 minus b. I've tried to put a little bit of everything in this one to really help you understand what to do here if it's a really long equation. The first step is always to distribute. So I'm going to start over here and distribute the negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative b makes positive 2b. Okay. Over here, I've got negative 2, and I'm just going to copy this stuff down. Okay, the next thing I want to do after distributing is to combine my like terms. On this side, I have negative 5b and 2b. 
for a total of negative 3b. And I bring down the 3. On this side, I combine my negative 2 and my negative 2 for negative 4 plus 2b. And my equation is starting to look a lot better. Let's move our variables from right to left. So I'm going to subtract 2b from both sides. On this side, I have 3 minus 3, negative 3 and negative 2 make negative 5b. On this side, I have negative 4. Okay, on this side now, I want to move the numbers from left to right. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. And negative 5b equals negative 7. Now, I want b by itself. That was my goal. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5. And b equals 7 over 5. Notice the negatives cancel each other because the negative negative makes a positive when dividing. B equals 7 fifths. It is okay to get a decimal or fraction answer, so don't let that freak you out if that happens. There are two special cases that we need to talk about, things that could happen when solving equations, and then we'll be done. Example number five. If I have x plus 4 minus 6x equals 6 minus 5x minus 2. There's nothing to distribute, so I'm going to put my like terms together. x and negative 6x makes negative 5x plus 4 on the first side. On the second side, I have negative 5x, and then I can combine 6 and negative 2 for a total of 4. Okay, I want to move my variables over, so let's move from the right to the left. I'm going to add 5x to both sides. This cancels. And then this side also cancels, and that's the special case. What happens now is that 4 equals 4. Because we know that to be true, 4 really does equal 4, the answer is all real numbers. Meaning any x I pick that I could plug in for every single x would make this statement true or make these two equal. Rather than the other ones we've done so far where there was one correct answer, this one, any real number that gets plugged in will give me the same answer. The shortcut, if you don't want to write all that, is that R with the double lines. That means all real numbers. Let's look at one last example of another special case. Example number six, negative 8x plus 6 plus 9x equals negative 17 plus x. I'm going to combine my like terms. Negative 8x and 9x makes x plus 6 equals negative 17 plus x. When I subtract x from both sides, you will see that 6 equals negative 17. Because that is not true, the answer is no solution. The shorthand for that is to do this symbol right there. If you have any questions, please come see me in class.